welcome everyone back with another video today i am actually going to be showing you uh how to install um lxpdfr on pc um so the first thing that you're going to want to do is find your main game directory and if you don't know how to do that uh go ahead and do steam i don't know how to do it if you bought it off epic games um i'm sorry for anyone who bought it off epic games but yeah so um Go to Grand Theft Auto, click on this, click on this, manage properties, local files, browse local files. Alright. And wh why did I close that? And then what you're going to want to do, so you can see this is going to be your thing, so. Um, make sure, um, never mind, I don't know what I was going to say. But yeah, let's get into installing LSPFR. So, download LSPFR 0.4.8 or whatever uh, one you're on. Um, just some, some, your PC might say this is a virus. Uh, it's not, so. Yeah, it's actually different. It's because it's a new update. This might change in the future, but I... Um, so yeah, launch this, open this, you can use um, WinZip or all those other things to open. Now and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your main game directory, open up your WinR or WinZip or whatever you're using, and just throw that in your uh, Grand Theft Auto folder. And then after you do this, you can close this. And then you can go to LSPDFR, and then go to LSPDFR Configurator, and then welcome to the LSPDFR. The configurator will guide you through the initial setup of LSPDFR. Advanced users can skip this. Just go through this. Uh, just I'll do all this. Um, yeah. So. Alright, um, just say do it for me, and then, um, it says LSPDFR has been in installed successfully. So now you have LSPDFR installed, um, and you also have Rage plugin hook installed, um, so you can close LSPDFR first response. Now what do you want, now what you want to do is download script hook V. This will be in handy for the, for installing vehicles and everything, um, just, Click download. Um, so yeah, script hook V. Just open that. Go in your bin, and then you can. All right. So. All right. So we're not gonna put the native trainer in. So just just grab your script hook. Just grab these two, script hook and din put, and um, put those in your main directory actually yes put this in there um this is the latest one so you can see i already got it so i'm not going to put it in there but you you put both of these in um but i'm just gonna put in you know put both put dim put and script hook v in um and you're done with that and then uh, last one that we're going to do is we're actually going to be installing Simple Trainer. Um, so this is the best mod menu you can see. Um, at least what I think. It's pretty It's pretty cool, actually. Um, so just click download. And click download again. Trainer V. Just open that. Alright, let's no let's not do that um so you can see you got your trainer v asi and trainer v dot i and i you're gonna want to drag both of those into your gta 5 main directory um so yeah just do that do that and um yeah so just yeah just i'm not gonna do that because i already did it so just drag those two in and yeah so um, I believe you're all set. Let's, uh, 
let's hop uh, right in the game. So I'm going to show you how it's going to uh, load up. So you want, right when it launches, you want to hold shift for a few seconds. Actually, never mind, because it, never mind, I broke it. Um, hold on, there we go. All right, so you can see. Uh, so, you can see that uh, there's your general F4 to open your console key, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, if you have a lower NPC, or a lower NPC, is that what I just said? I thought I said NPC. Um, oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> That's what I was supposed to say. Um, uh, you can increase this uh, plug-in timeout threshold. Um so yeah, um, do uh, EOP is just um, something that I will be doing a tutorial on in the future, um, and then LSPFR is what we just installed. Do don't load any plugins on startup because you don't want your game to crash. Um, just you you want to back up your game version, um, so click that, and um, yeah, it'll just in case uh, you you can't play or something. I don't know. Um, you could back up your game version, so, yeah. So, after you're done with that, you can click Save and Launch, and then it'll launch your Rage Plugin Hook, and, uh, once again, this comes with, um, LSPDFR, it installs it for you, um, so, yeah. Let's just wait for this to install. To install. I can't say anything. Um. So this is how your is gonna look. Um, I'll, I'll show you in a second, Lindsay. I'm not gonna cut it because I don't want. I want you guys to see. So yeah, this is what you're going to see when you load in. You're going to see in the bottom right, you're going to see loading story mode with Rage Plugin Hook. And in the middle of the screen, you're going to see uh, the Rage Plugin Hook, analyzing game support, velocity limit, remove, patching code, waiting for a game, you know, all of those. Um, and yeah, so let's just wait. Um, if it wait like about 10 minutes on the first startup, and if it doesn't load in for 10 minutes, restart it. And if it does it again, just restart your computer and try again. Um, that's what I've learned to do. Um, and yeah, once you've loaded in, um, press F4 on your keyboard and go reload all plugins. So they'll load in. All right. So let press F four, and if you can't, if you want to, you can go. You can type go to PD. It'll take you to the PD. Um, also, you can press F three to bring up the menu that we installed, Simple Trainer. So yeah, you can do your options. Uh, you can do your your uh, weapons and everything. Um, you can like remove your wanted level. Uh, if you're a criminal, uh, I think this might be copyrighted music, but I don't, I'm not sure, so. So, you're going to want to go on duty. Uh, you're not going to have any call-outs. Um, I just have call-outs because uh, I've, I had, I just got a new PC, so. I don't have as many call outs, but I have a few. So just do whatever you want. Um, this is basically what your only outfit's gonna be. Um, and then go to your police garage to pick your vehicle. Um, and you can either pick 
uh, once again, these won't be for you, um, because, um, I don't, um, because, um, you probably, you probably, if you're watching this video, you probably haven't installed any vehicles yet, um, so, yeah, there will be a tutorial on that, so let's just go, I'm gonna go, um, I don't like that, how it takes off the, I don't know what I just did. Hold on. So this isn't even my character, so. So I have to, I have EOP menu too, so I like class C. Class C if you'll go. I guess not. Will you not go, really? All right, I guess it won't go. I guess it won't work. I don't know, that's weird, but it's. Pretty cool, actually. So, yeah, all the tutorial and everything. Um, let's just take the Crown Victoria. I like I like the la light patterns and stuff. It's actually a pretty good uh, car pack. Um, I'll have a tutorial on how to install cars. I think this is probably copyrighted, so let me just turn this off real quick. Um, that doesn't work. No, because it's kind of... Won't go off. It won't go off. Um, so you can. Alright. You can press, uh. Why to accept and press, uh. You're gonna press E to turn your lights on, um, and then you're gonna press, yeah, E is to turn your lights on, J is to, um, turn your sirens on and off once you have your lights on, and E is for your horn, R is for your, uh, nothing, I don't think, um, with the main thing that you're gonna have, I don't think it's on anything, um, so you'll have this police backup menu, press B for it. Um, you can call a local patrol unit. I'm sorry, Sheriff. Uh, you can call an air support unit, even though we already got one. Um, let's just end this real quick. Because this isn't really a gameplay video, I just want to show you. Oh, you tackled him. Show me your hands. All right, yeah, so the scene's code four. You see, yep, 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 all right, yep, we're good. All right, bye-bye. Um, so, so, yeah, so, what you can do, um, so let me just do this, um, sorry, clicked out of the game, alright, you, I'm gonna show you the weapon that I installed, mm, well, I guess I'm not, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's how you install LSPDFR. If you have any questions or anything that you want to know, um, leave that in the comment section. I will be installing, I will be doing a tutorial on how you install vehicles. I will probably be also doing it on like how to install plugins and callouts and all that stuff. But, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.